Hey guys, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to another episode of my YouTube channel. Yeah, I always think it's an episode of a vlog tutorial, but I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm still finding my bearings, so bear with me. But today I'm here to talk about product photography. Or in fact, it's like, how do I do my product photography? So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that uh, I've taken quite a number of like EDC posts and I've posted on uh, my page and I've gotten like some DMs from you guys asking like, oh, good composition, where do you take this photo? And normally I'll just answer, oh, just from the back of my bedroom, from my home office, from my living room. They're like, really? So that means that you have a very nice aesthetic place to do that. Um, the answer is no. I'm here to just bust the myth to say that you don't need to have like a glamorous, good aesthetic set for you to take your product photography. It's all about understanding how do you capture the right angle and getting the right amount of light. I'm gonna share with you guys how do I do my product photography without using any um, lights, like without using any like artificial lights, just using natural lights and also a standard camera. Uh, I'm using the EOS R f1.8 35 mil so it's a pretty staple camera it's not too expensive and yeah so it's in a really good budget range and i guess i've talked too much so without further ado let's hop on to the tutorial right now all right so before we start we're gonna like get some materials that we want to shoot first so uh, i'm gonna use like this two uh, leather like uh, bookmarks and uh, this Pete Spark Life uh, coin pouch. Yeah, I don't need the coin inside, so I just want the leather texture. And then uh, two random dice to elevate the objects out. And my camera. And also, not forgetting uh, the knife. Yeah, okay. I'm not a <laughs> right handed person, so I almost cut myself. But okay, now let's go. So essentially, uh, this place, it's very empty. And uh, one of the best things that you can use as a texture background is a non-reflective texture. So we have this uh, like bed comforter cover that uh, you know, keeps us warm night. And it, you can buy it from Ikea. Like this, this is brought from Ikea, like I think $15. And then we have this ample light that's beside here. So if you open it, you get like natural light. All right, I almost forgot, uh, we need a bell as well. Uh, I want to create like a call kind of feeling to it. And that helps to like, how to say, give a foreground element to pop the knife out, if you get what I mean. So I'll curl this up and then I'll just uh, try to make it into like a spring coil shape. And now we have the photo. Let's get back onto the editing room to just edit. So what you need to do is like go into photos, upload it into a uh, Lightroom. So I like the whole thing like this, but uh, because of the prior logo, it's there. I would like to rotate it first, rotate and rotate. And then I'll go into just proceed to lift up everything. My key to do things is vibrancy up, saturation down. It just gives a very nice tone. Then play with the tone curves, go to medium contrast, slow down, and then push this up a bit, give them a bit of off-white. If you watch my previous editing tutorials, you will know uh, that's my go-to. So balance it again, and then you go into the HSL color wheel where you just color grade the whole thing. And once that's done, I'll go to grains and just add some grains to increase the grunginess. And just because I want to focus on the knife itself, so I don't necessarily like want everything on the frame just like that. 
So what I will do is I will just crop it and just cut it down to this angle that I want and put it in and bam. And there you have it. Um, that's the editing flow that I normally do. It's a quick and dirty edit compared to the one that I did previously, but uh, it's for the sake of like just showing you that you can actually do everything in the back of your room if you really wanted to. Just find textures, something to key highlight when you take product photography. Uh, make sure that you have like cohesive colors on the tools that you have. That gives a more, I'll say, I don't know, personally, I like monochromatic stuff. So this gives more of like a theme to the products that you want to do because the product is copper color. So you can practically color grade all the browns together to make it like very cohesive. So one thing that you can use is non-reflective surface like the blanket that I've shown you that I place on the bed. So other things that you can do is uh, probably you can use like, just give me a moment, like texture stuff like an ammo box because wood doesn't reflect, you know, um, I got this off from someone for 20 bucks. Yeah, so, and also foam, foam cord, yeah. So this one you can get in from art supply store. It's very good, comes in black and white depending on what you want. It's not really reflective. Look, light is here. It doesn't really bounce, it just absorbs it. So it's, it's good for flat leg if you want to do like uh, black color stuff and all that. And for lights, natural lights. If you have a window, shoot it near the window. Don't You don't need to have like good proper lighting gear unless like you are in a set that is total pitch black and you really need the light. And um, I think that's pretty much all of it. And also, yeah, for camera, uh, get something that's wider. It depends. Like I, I would like to. Sh I always like to shoot with thirty-five, just because I can punch in and punch out easily, and the range is just good. If you do like anything lower than thirty-five, there will be a massive distortion and vignetting, which sometimes affect your photo. And also, this thirty-five comes with a semi-macro um, function, so I can go as close as I want to get the details that I want if I wanted to, and. Um, I, I think that's all things that uh, I do normally. So um, that's it for this week's tutorial. It's very fast, short, clear cut and simple. So I hope you guys like the content. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, hit the bell to get notified when the next video comes in. And I will see you guys on the next video, hopefully very soon. So take care. What's up guys, it's your guy here andy yeah andrew andy whatever like i'm confused of my own name you like that sound just because i've been posting a lot of like edc shots product uh just because i've taken a lot of like edc product photography shots uh and post it on instagram nowadays and some of you guys on that spot <laughs> And some of it. Uh, where is where is my belt? I can't find my belt. Babe, do you know where is my belt? <laughs> Eddie, do you know where is my belt?